My name is Karen Collins. I work in the engineering department as the engineering contract administrator. My husband worked here for uh, many years as an electrician and he stayed long enough to get his retiree benefits for both of us. And uh, we hate to see that change at all for us. And I'm probably going to have to stay longer to get him benefits as, uh, as a retiree myself. So we're just real concerned. Uh, I've been a member of Union Local 21 for over 10 years. And uh, I'm really proud to be a part of this today. Well, thank you. Uh, could you tell us something about uh, what you see as the most important issues here? Uh, I think it's, you know, reaching the agreement on the contract and a fair contract, which it seems like it's being, they're really standing off from us. And it's kind of disappointing to see management. Some of the managers say one thing to us and then and the, the, comes out a whole different way. So that's why we're all out here today. Good morning. This Good morning. is a first for me, <laughs> and I don't have a uh, really prepared speech. Um, I'm the contracts administrator for the uh, engineering department. I've worked here for 13 years. Uh, my husband worked here for a number of years and stayed here to earn his benefits. Um, and so what is happening right now is a concern for him and for me. Um, one of the things that happened a few years ago is that there was an action that was coming before the board. And in the action, it was going to change my benefits to my husband. And if the action happened, that my husband was going to end up paying for my health care. And luckily, I read the board minutes, or I read the B&O item. And I called Betty Condor, and she hopped to it and straightened it out. And so I was able to keep my benefits as an active employee, and my husband didn't have to pay for my health care. So um, I want to let you know that I, I work on many uh, engineering contracts, high dollar amounts. I do contract compliance. I, I think I'm a go-to girl, like the gentleman said. He's the go-to guy, and I kind of <coughs> like that title. I enjoy working here, but I want to ask that um, the board seems to be jumping into a race for the bottom with no clear understanding of the consequences. The Bridge District requires a greater skill set from the vast majority of the employees than the lowest common denominator that this board seems intent on appealing to. The board is taking an experienced workforce for granted and is failing to grasp the negative effects that chopping benefits and compensation have on morale, productivity, and customer service. I urge the board to move forward with your eyes focused on your true assets. The employees are the key to the long-term success of the district. Stop creating a projected future deficit as an excuse to make some bad decisions in the interest of good politics. Do not balance the books on the backs of the very people that make the books possible in the first place. Come to a fair and equitable agreement with the union coalition so that we can all move forward together in, uh, with mutual appreciation. I hope I, I represent the district in a professional manner and I hope that you'll treat all of us in a professional manner. Thank you. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back.